if you want to see strength, you have to hear Prime Minister Netanyahu sharing some inside information, conversations that he's had with the U.S. Uh, United States administration uh, about the war in Gaza and the extent to which um, Israel was going to go. And this was uh, before Israel entered into Rafa, where America gave um, Israel enormous, enormous uh, pressure not to go into Rafa. And Netanyahu insisted that we will, we must, and we will. But listen to the back conversations that they were having and that he had in, in particular with Blinken. Here it is. Biden Amarli. Amarli. אם אתם תיכנסו, אתם תישארו לבד. והוא אמר עוד יותר מזה. הוא אמר גם שהוא יפסיק משלוחי נשק, סוגי נשק חשובים מאוד לנו, וכך הוא עשה. כמה ימים לאחר מכן הופיע שר החוץ בלינקן, מזכיר המדינה בלינקן, וחזר על אותם דברים, ואמרתי לו בפורום רחב, אמרתי לו, טוני, אני אגיד זה בעברית, ואם תרצו אגיד את זה באנגלית. אגיד את זה באנגלית. If we have to, we will fight with our fingernails. That's powerful for the prime minister to say to Blinken when Blinken is telling him that you cannot go into Rafa. And he's saying we are going in, and if you're not going to give us the arms, we will fight with our fingernails. It's the courage in the face of the world to do what Israel absolutely must do when the world is being unjust and the pressure that they're applying to Israel. And to have that inner strength when there's so much external pressure is very commendable. And in my opinion, that's something every single one of us has to look at, not only admire, but we have to emulate by asking ourselves whether we are being the voice in the world that is a voice of courage, even though there are many people who may disagree with what we're going to say. And are we living the life that God put us in this world to live, even though it may not be the popular thing to do? Because that really is the role of a Jew. So uh, it, uh, the prime minister is playing it out in one particular area of life, right? Which seems to be political. Uh, however, we need to play this out in our very way of living every single day by asking ourselves, what am I doing here as a Jew? And am I living up to that purpose? What does it mean to be a Jew? And that requires courage as well. And the way our people stand with a straight back is when every single one of us finds that courage and lives by it, then we are a people with a straight back.